up tempo family it's your favorite bahama mama tiana back again for another tempo networks ig live interview hope you guys had a fantastic weekend today our featured artist is none other than marley palmer himself we're going to be discussing the music video production of his latest tempo networks music video release jesus is coming soon and if you are an up-and-coming recording artist or someone who's been in the game for a long time, but you're looking for a network to help promote you, put you on a platform where your music video is going to be seen, increase your following, get that publicity that you truly deserve, you can email me at T-C-O-L-B-E-R-T at temponetworks.com. And we will take care of your music video promotion with our huge variety of music artist promotion packages for artists of different experience levels. We will get you in front of the masses and help increase your following as well as receive all those new fans looking for their next favorite song. Maybe your song will be the song of the summer on Tempo. So email me at T-C-O-L-B-E-R-T at temponetworks.com. All right, I'm going to go ahead and invite our guests right in. Thank you everyone for joining today. If you have any questions that you'd like me to ask Marley Palmer, uh, drop them in the comments. As long as they're appropriate, I will ask them. So good to see everyone. Drop your flags in the comments. Hey, Marley. Hey, Piana, what's up, what's up? Great to see you. Nice to see you, Where too. Where are you? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here in Matura. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, in Tehran, Tobago. Rich flora and fauna, as you can see. Wow, <laughs> that looks beautiful. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So I want to start by asking, when did you realize that you wanted to pursue a music career? Where did it all start for you? All right, well, it started from... Um, when I was going to secondary school, mm -hmm. um, that's when I, I realized that I wanted to pursue a career in music. And in them time, you know, freestyling on the streets, you know, with the other younger mm -hmm. artists in my generation, you know, and I decided, well, yes, I want to pursue a career in music. You know? And I always used to tell them that I want to hear my song on radio one day. Nice. And that's where it all started. Yeah. And who were some of your inspirations when you first got started in the music industry? All right. Well, some of my first inspirations when I now started in the music industry, um, I would say Brigadier Jerry, um, the likes of Jacob Miller, Steel Pulse, Bob Marley, yeah. and most of the old school superstars, you know? Yeah. And how have you evolved as an artist since when you first got started to now? I used to sing more secular, you know, I used to sing music for more the secular crowd, you know, singing everything, I try to dabble a little soca here and there, you know, and then um, I, the, the, the step, and you know, the divine, you know, being in touch with the divine a little more deeper, you know, deeper, yes. the music changed, the music changed. Yeah. And how, how would you define your genre of music that you create? Is it reggae? Is it soca? Is it gospel reggae? Where are you in that? Um, yeah, well, it is defined. It is defined as as reggae gospel. You know, reggae I will gospel. call it. Yeah, I will call it soul salvation music. You know, to enlighten the people as well. But soul in a gospel. nutshell, okay. Yeah, in a nutshell, yeah, it's it's reggae gospel. Yeah. Love that soul salvation. I've never heard that before. So you're introducing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's all about, you know, saving souls, you know, enlightening the people, you know, trying to get some of the chosen ones, you know, don't get too lost in the matrix. So that is what it's about, did you, you know. Did you grow up in the church? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. From small, yeah. From a young age. Yeah. And what was your creative process when you were writing the song, um, Jesus is Coming Soon? Uh, what was your inspiration? Well, the inspiration was, um, it was like an urgency from the Most High God. Mm -hmm. You know, he, you know, he, he downloaded the song within my spirit. Ah. And I would say one morning, 
I woke up one morning and I saw in the kitchen a bright heavenly light boy. You know, and everything came one time. The lyrics, the chorus, everything. So I will say that God sent an angel to bring that music to me. So it just came to you one day. It just came to me one bright morning. I saw a bright heavenly light. Wow. It's like an angel, like an angel, you know. And in the presence of that light, I saw the, I feel the chorus and the words come in my spirit one time. So you have a very, so it's like an urgency, you, you know. Very strong connection with God. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know, Jalive, Jalive, man. <laughs> and what? What part of this music video production did you get the most enjoyment out of? What was your favorite aspect of putting this together? Um, the aspect that that um, that I get the the good vibes out of is just like you know the whole process from beginning to the end. You know, that's that's being in the moment, mm -hmm. being in that moment, knowing that I'm doing the work of the Father, mm -hmm. God using me as a vessel, mm -hmm. you know, to bring this music. Yeah. to the entire world, to the global masses. So that was the, you know, the, the, the getting the good vibes out of. I really enjoy it, you know, knowing that I'm doing the work of my father. Oh, yes, I. You're almost like, a, your music's like a messenger. It, yeah, it's like a message, you know. The, the whole man tries to light up the darkness. Mm -hmm. You know, this whole system is just like a matrix, you know. So God is sending, sending his messengers, whether preachers, you know, prophetess, prophets, mm -hmm. singers, wow. players of in, instruments, and they are just bringing this message to the people just to wake them up so they wouldn't get lost in the matrix, you know, and even helping other chosen ones as well to find their path. So when they transcend, their time to transcend, they will be going upwards, then getting lost and had to come back here again, you know, or to go downstairs. So it's all about waking up the people, lighting up the darkness. <laughs> Love that. It gets the people lighting up the darkness. Okay. Yes, I. Uh, that is incredible. Uh, you sound like you're very much in your purpose. You know, you know what you're here to do, and you are living that out. Uh, yes. I also, I also have noticed that the general public people, they're more open to hearing messages when it comes through music. You get a good rhythm. You get a good beat. It's a good beat, yeah. Head. Yeah, music is a, is a universal language. So no matter where you are in the global plane or the global you know, place, you will, you will connect to music, no matter where somebody is from, whether rich, whether poor, whether you're from Japan, Australia, Korea, India, no matter where you're from, music will connect everyone together. That's big. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. what legacy do you want to leave on the world through the music you make? How do you want to be remembered? Well, the legacy that I want to leave you know, on the human race is no matter what color you are, no matter your race, I will just want to see everybody unite together as one people. You know, unite as one, whether Chinese, Indian, Negro. Let's get together and yes. unite, you know? Yes. And that is the legacy. And the change begins with you. You know, be the change that you want to see. <laughs> and what's the best piece of advice that you could give to an up and coming artist who might be watching this, who's like just getting started into music? Well, the best advice I would love to give an upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. So anyone looking at this right now mm -hmm. is to never give up, never give up. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Because when you're on the narrow road, there's so much obstacles coming your way and the enemy just try, try his best to, to knock you off course, you know? But the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. No guts, no glory. <laughs> wow, you are just full of like perfect sayings that just like make sense. You just like the gap. It just like flows so good. Oh my gosh. No wonder you're an artist. Like you just put these words together like perfect melodies. Like even your interview answers are like lyrics. <laughs> respect my respect, you know. And where do you see the future of uh reggae gospel music going? Uh, um the future of reggae gospel it, it ties into it ties into the um the prophecy that was said that the 
you know, the, the, the gospel of, of, of Jesus Christ will be spread all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we are just playing our part. Because it's a bigger picture, you know. We are just playing our part mm -hmm. in bringing this prophecy to pass, you know. Love that it. the gospel will spread all over the world. So preachers, as I said, reggae singers, gospel artists, once you're lighting up the darkness mm -hmm. and you're bringing the gospel, it must spread all over the world. So we are just doing our part, you know, Irie. Love that. And could you tell us about a proud moment in your musical journey uh, that you that was like significant for you as an artist? Um, a proud moment. Mm -hmm. Um, well, most of the times when I touch the stage, I just, I just be proud, you know. Most of it, every time I touch the stage, yeah, to, to reach to the people, cause it's, it's more than music for me. Yeah. music is more than music to me you know yeah and i always say music music chose me mm -hmm. you know to so every time i go on that mic mm -hmm. to reach everybody i feel proud you know love that because it because it's, it's saving souls as i said soul salvation music but sometimes you sing into the, the um to the masses mm -hmm. and sometimes a person in the crowd thinking about going and drink poison mm -hmm. And just by your inspiration, mm -hmm. your messages to reach will break the chains of the enemy in that moment. And that person will, that person will, will you know, survive, you know. That's deep. Some, yeah, Very yeah. Deep. So it's, power, it's powers, you know. Yes. <laughs> and what can our audience look forward to seeing from Marley Palmer over the next year or so? What are you working on next? Um, um, I would say, you know, more music. Right. And there's so much more in store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and where can we purchase your music to uh, support you as an artist? Um, you can purchase my music on Spotify. You can purchase it on Apple Music as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where can we follow you on social media so that we can stay up to date with your next music release, what you're working on? Um, you can follow me on um, TikTok, which is Mali Palmer underscore uh, Mali sorry <laughs> Mali underscore Pama one and Instagram Pama Mali um they switch it around for some reason I don't know why mm -hmm. Pama Mali um on Facebook Mali Pama on on YouTube Mali Pama as well you know I see to yeah. find you you're all over the place yes sir uh, yes sir I'm, I'm a huge fan of TikTok uh, how do you like TikTok <laughs> yeah TikTok TikTok is cool man TikTok is cool <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, is, there, cool. is there anyone on your team that you'd like to give a shout out to before we wrap up our interview um, um i want to give a shout out to um my village of matura big up to matura um i wanna let me say um big up to my mommy salome Pama, my daddy johnny homeward my sister mala Pama, my brother dj pie um my two nephews malachi and elijah Pama. I want to say big up to the whole of Trinidad and Tobago, the whole world, all the listeners, the audience, everybody. I want to say big up to Tiana. Oh. I want to say big up to, <laughs> big up to Mr. Fredericks as well. The whole of Tempo. Respect to everyone, man. One love. Thank you so much, Marley. This has been a long-awaited interview. We are so happy that we got the chance to have you as a featured artist on Tempo again. And... Uh, your music video, Jesus is Coming Soon, is now airing on Tempo Networks. So everyone yes, I. catch it on our music video blocks throughout the day. Yes, I. <laughs> so see you guys next time. Thank you so much, Marley. We'll be in touch. Respect. Respect. Light up the darkness. We'll do. Light up the darkness.